Hey there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Little King's Story. In the last episode, we became King of Alpocom. <laughs> and we have, uh, we've gone for all the uh, boring work at the start of the game. We found out what we need to do, who we need to talk to, and now we're in the middle of getting 100,000 ball in order to build a farmhouse. Why do we want to do that? Because we've got a lot of lazy layabouts around and we need to turn them into farmers so they can dig holes for us. But yes, in this world, in the world of, Al well, in the kingdom of Alpaco, turnips are big business. Just like in normal heroes where coconuts were big business, turnips are. So let's chop this turnip down and then suddenly, once it's chopped down, oh my god, the turnips are alive and chasing me. Quick, kill them! <laughs> this is why I picked grunts first. If you picked farmers, then you would be left killing uh, the zombie turnips with farmers and that is not usually a good idea. Grunts are about, I want to say about three times stronger than farmers. I'm not too sure on that fact though, I think I read it somewhere, probably on Game Facts or something. But anyway, we're in the middle of collecting spo well, resources, or spoils as the game calls them. And spoils can come in all kinds of forms, sizes, and all kinds of jazz. And, they, and you know, there can be turnips, or you know, stationery, or candy, or anything. And what you do with spoils is you trade them for money. And once you trade them for mo trade them in for money, you will get to uh, build other stuff. So like I've got a shining turnip. Shining turnips are pretty darn rare, so I'm going to get quite a bit of money from that. Now on the first day, you could only get a hundred thousand ball. Um, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But on day two, you can get quite a bit more. You're only expected to get a hundred thousand ball. But you can get quite a bit more, so it is very beneficial to chop up all these trees and everything in order to get as much money as possible, possible because it will help you uh, in the, um, I would say, late, early game, but that hardly makes sense. You know what I mean. So we need to actually get out of Alpaco because... Um, well, we need to see what's going down in the rest of the world. We know about this little piece of land called Alpaco. But what's going on outside of it? I just don't know. Uh, excuse me, I'm burping again. <laughs> now you'll see some turnips here. Again, it's just more chopping. And I know this is monotonous, but hey, stick with me. It's worth it. Some of these turnips will jump up and attack you. I think uh, the, I think this one up here, the one of the mid top middle, yeah, this one will attack you. However, just throw all your soldiers at it and it'll die in a flash. It is good to knock out all of these turnips. You'll get money for each turnip you knock out. So make sure you get all of them and you will uh, be a happy little king. Because yeah, you are a little king and it's best to be a happy little king, not a sad despotic one like, uh, I don't know, I can't think of any kings. I'm not that very good at history. But yeah, Henry VIII, he was a king. <laughs> but yeah, so we're just chopping up turnips here. It's all good. So, but how is everybody? How is everybody's Christmas? This LP is going out just after Christmas. So, uh, how, how did everybody do at Christmas? Everyone got lots of presents, I hope. Um, I'm actually recording this before Christmas, so it's a little weird. I'm recording it before Christmas, but I'm showing it after Christmas, so I'm asking about Christmas. Crazy. Now, if we chop this piece of wood, we'll be able to see a couple of new enemies if these two would hurry up. Come on, guys. Hurry up, now. Go, 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 go. Thank you. And you'll see some snails. These guys are called escargo, as you could probably guess. They are, uh, it's the French for snails, um, which is great. And from them, you will get lucky item, and you'll also get some coins as well. So again, you'll get some uh, strange things. Uh, these guys can't dig holes, so don't try sending them to dig holes. You'll get some strange things, you'll see some strange enemies, but that's, that's what the game is all about, really. Um, you would expect it to be a bit strange, having people from uh, the No More Heroes uh, staff working on the game. In fact, actually, the people who were, oh, a couple of people who were working for um, the makers of this game, Marvelous Entertainment, are actually going to uh, Grasshopper, who made No More Heroes. So, uh, it's all about those two companies, guys. And, yeah. <laughs> I really wish I had any something more exciting to talk about, but I can't because all we are doing is chopping turnips. <sighs> anyway, um, I'm going to leave the rest for speed's sake. <laughs>
Anyway, let's go home. Let's have a let's okay. wobble on home. Look at my uh, my solitudes, aren't they great? Um, I think I have enough. I think with the shining turnip, with all the wood, um, all the normal turnips, I think I have enough. And there's only one way to find out. So here we go. 30k, 80k. Yeah, we've got enough. So it will go through all of these, and it'll show you how much money you've got. And hey, we have managed to get a hell of a lot. So let's uh, talk to Hauser, and as you saw before in the Kingdom Plan, um, we've got a farmhouse to build. He will advise you on what to build sometimes, and that's all we can do for now. It's this Now this town has a workplace. Well, yes, of course it does. You already had the soldier house. It will have the farmhouse tomorrow, so hey, let's go for another nap. Well, <laughs> after we find out what the current situation is. Our current situation is... Three ministers, three cows, five chickens, twelve citizens, such a puny, insignificant little kingdom. <gasps> you monster! Don't be so cruel! Um, little handshake. We must expand our kingdom further to attract more citizens. I agree. Little panic dance. Oh yeah. Worry not, my king. Uh, king, I have sought the true king for 35 years. Yes, you have. Please, I need only a single evening to come up with a brilliant plan, Baldrick. I'll stick my reputation on it. Okay. Well, um, let me get some sleep, Haoshi, because you're starting to bore me. So, uh, yes. Uh, or inspiring plan. Yes, I'd like to sleep now. Yes, I'm going to sleep. See you later, guy. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, <laughs> nice music. And nice music to wake up to as well. Again, if you know the names of these pieces of music, then feel free to comment them because I am useless at classical music. Love listening to it, don't know the names of any song, so uh, I'm leaving it to you guys. But anyway, let's see what Haoshi's got to say for himself. Good morning, my king. Morning, Haoshi. Let's do the dance. Right, what have you got to say for yourself? I've searched for the true king for 35... Yes, we, we get there. I cannot seem to conceive of a plan to get... Um, okay, inadequate, yes. Ha 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 ha, I guess I'll just leave it to the others. Oh, okay. Delegate, good plan. We shall create a place of relaxation, complete with a suggestion box. Fantastic. Perhaps we shall receive whisperings pertaining to various rumours. We may be able to gather good ideas on how to develop this kingdom. That is a pretty good idea, Haoshi. Now behold my newest plan. Behold, the town square. Okay. Yes, okay, tell me about it. Our next goal is... Oh my lord, that's a lot of money. <laughs> that, that is a hell of a lot of money. Uh, can we buy it now? Let's have a look. How she? Can we do it now? We should build a town square. How much did it cost again? 1,200. Yeah, we don't have enough. But we do... We can get... No, not the A button upstart. No, I did not ring. You heard nothing. Anyway, now that we have the farmhouse, we can dig up holes, um, which is great. So let's go and find some people. So Lyric is there, standing guard, and there's um, Letty and Caleb. But let's get Aiden or Alden. Let's get Mike. Let's get Jaden, and let's get um, couldn't get his or her name. Now the farmhouse is on my right, I think. Yes, here it is. Fire some guys into the farmhouse, and you will get five farmers. Is it five farmers? No, I've only got four. Come on, Alice. Um, right, let's reorder. You can reorder your uh, your five or however many troops you have. Um, so the when you throw them like that, they'll come out in a different order. So if you have say two soldiers, three farmers, if your soldiers are in the lead, when you when you throw them. Um, they will be the ones that get uh, sent out first, if that makes sense. Now, there was a hole up here, if I remember. Uh, I'm lagging a little bit, so forgive me if I stop. Um, I think I'm okay now. But yes, this little hole will turn into a uh, spring, and if you send your troops into there, or even the king himself, he will heal health, so springs are always great. You'll see a lot more of them later in the game. Uh, there was a hall around here. Don't don't fight anything here. You can use farmers can fight. They do have some uh, something going for them. They do have sides in their hands, so they can fight. However, I'm not a big fan of letting them fight because they are nowhere near as strong as soldiers. Uh, but if you do have if you do have just farmers with you and you have to fight, go for it because um, it's better than nothing. Go on, jump back in there, guys. Yeah, farmers are really quick. I mean, really quick. You saw how slow the cur the carefree uh, adults were before. Soldiers, uh, not soldiers. Farmers are really quick at digging up stuff. 
So always have one with you because there's always treasure around in this game. Right, I got a big gold bar and I've got some gold coins. I only need another, I think, 300, I think it's 300,000. So let's have a look, see if there's any more halls around. Um, no, just wood that we can't actually break into yet. So, I'm hoping that's it. I'm hoping that's enough money. So, let's go back, see if that's enough money to get the town square going. Because we need to know how to build this kingdom. We need some good ideas, you know. And people are probably just going to think of stupid ideas like a, I don't know, a, a chocolate castle or something. Which would be a pretty good idea apart from it will melt. So, you know. 300,000 plus 10, that will give me 1,281. I'm just going to use the first number because it's easier. And that is enough money to get the town square. So let's get the castle town, town square. Boom, baby. We are all good. The town square has been completed. The citizens now have a place to relax. Huzzah. I don't want to relax, I want them to kill things. <laughs> and thanks to the suggestion box, I'm sure we'll get valuable feedback and suggestions from the citizens by tomorrow mo morning. What, is it time for bed already? Oh god. Well, he is a little king, he needs his sleep. So, you know, he has to rest a lot. You could have just imagined if this was Pikmin 1. We're on day 3 already and we've done literally nothing. <laughs> Olimar would be suffocating from all that gas. But what's this? What's all this spying? Hmm, one of my grunt soldiers. Who is it? Could it be Lunasa or Lyrica or Letty? Who could it be? Ah, oh, he's posting a suggestion in the suggestion box. But what could the suggestion be? Well, we're going to have to find out, aren't we? Ah, time to wake up, little king. Come on, King Dan. Yep, it's morning time once more. Yep, you have slept a hell of a lot. Anyway, how she speak to me, boy? Good morning, King, maybe? Good morning, my King, of course. Yo, Haoshi, tell me the good news. You did it, my King, the town square is bustling. The suggestion box is full, hooray! We might learn something. I can feel it in my bones. Great. And you have bones on your helmet, so that's a good sign. Go to your throne and see for yourself. Okay. Um, well, my throne is just here, so that's not a very hard thing to do. Um, right, now if you call for Hauser, you can now click the suggestion box, and the suggestion box will come with uh, mail. And the mail can come in the form of quests, or just suggestions, or, you know, general chit chat. So the first one is from Hauser, and it's a test mail, the suggestion box will be filled every morning, blah blah blah. And here's please redecorate from Verde, you know, she's, I still like her more than most save characters. But we have something called the Graveyard Rumor. I was walking alone and I heard something from the deserted graveyard. I was all weirded out, but I checked it out anyway, only to find a cow with a skull for a head? From Captain Beefheart. He has got a heart made of beef. This is a quest, and you can get you get loads of these throughout the game. This is a very important quest though. This is well, as he might explain. Oh my, could that be the legendary cow bones of the cemetery? That legend has been around in this kingdom for quite a while. Oh, plus scary. According to the legend, defeating the guardian Uma, unidentified. I can't remember the other ones. Of <laughs> the land will erase all of the Uma there. This is your chance to expand your kingdom. Unidentified moving. I, I can't remember. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sure one of you will come at me and tell me. But anyway, we've got to. Um, what, what are we going to do now? I, I forgot. Um, I forgot what we're going to do now. We can't take out the cow bones just yet, I don't think. What up, Haoshi? Tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. Laugh, 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 laugh. I'm excited about the suggestion box. Great. Uh, good to know. Oh yeah, I can do it. Yeah, because I've accepted the quest. Yeah, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay. Anyway, we've just accepted our first quest. We need to defeat the legendary cow bones. Will we get slaughtered by the first boss in the game? Find out next time on Let's Play Little King's Story. See you later, guys.